Hello and welcome to this knife review. It's of the Spyderco Squeak. I first uh, made a review of this knife back in 2012, sort of the, the end of 2012, and uh, it's on my big list of 2012-2013 knives to make a brand new video that's going to be in better quality and I think I've improved in my reviews and things over the past three, four years or so. So it's on my list, I think when I first shot it, uh, it's one of my first videos. The lighting just wasn't right, uh, the, the quality just wasn't as good at all and it's just one of those videos in my catalogue that I just wanted to redo. And it's a worthy refresh of this knife because it's sort of, in my opinion, one of the knives that started it all. Not just for me, but for the, the blade steel that you can see there on it, the, the N690CO. It was one of the first sort of mainstream knives I can think of. I mean, Spyderco normally set the way um, for a lot of the other knife manufacturers. It's one of the blade steels that sort of set the way for this high quality um, steel that just gives you incredible value. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll talk to you a bit about the steel in, in a moment but first of all let's talk about the knife itself. Uh, so this is the, the Spyderco Squeak. It's made in Maniago and that's in Italy. The price is about £48.50 which is quite a lot for a knife this small and don't let the size fool you it is it is quite a small knife there it's definitely classed as a small knife so price wise £50 or so for this is, is quite a lot but you're definitely getting, getting what you pay for. We'll start off with some specifications first of all so its length is 5 inches or 12.8 centimetres its blade length is 2 inches or 5.1 centimetres its weight is 1.6 ounces, 46 grams, it's excellent, that's, that's sub par the 50 grams and the cutting edge length is 1.75 inches or 4.4 centimetres. Because it doesn't lock, it doesn't have a locking mechanism at all, it's just got the sort of detent there and because of the blade length is under the 3 inches you can legally carry this in the United Kingdom without a good reason, absolutely fine. So it's sort of advertised as this people friendly sort of knife, non-locking two inch blade. The blade itself is a full flat round, which means it's completely flat there. Uh, the handles are a black FRN, which is a fiberglass reinforced nylon. I'm just going through some of the terminology and things, just in case this is one of the first knife reviews you've seen, or it's been a long time since you've watched any knife review videos. And then the blade steel is the this N690CO. If you've never heard of that before, I do have a blade steel video on it. It's, a, an, it's an Austrian high carbon steel um, blade with added cobalt, which gives superior edge retention, sharpening and receptivity. What that basically means is you can get this really sharp, it's quite easy to sharpen, and it will hold its edge for quite a while. The edge itself, because it's sort of a softer steel, if that makes sense to S30V, it's not as brittle, so it won't chip. The edge would rather roll than, than actually break or chip. Again, this is a great worker, and you know, you can get this sharp and the edge itself will just last a long time. It's very, it's got high corrosion resistance too. So if you're working in sort of damp environments or that's gonna help it keep that edge. The ergonomics of the knife, very comfortable for a small knife. I mean, I've got large hands and yeah, my pinky doesn't, doesn't get any action, but definitely the three fingers get some action and uh, you can even choke up on it. It's got the jimping on the top on the thumb ramp and it's got some jimping on the choil area there. It's a very small sort of knife. It's not very intimidating either. It's quite a cute little knife. They even do it in a, in a pink scale version. I think the money there goes to breast cancer. So just bear that in mind. I would like them to bring out new colors. They haven't unfortunately. They've still got this black, which I don't know. I just like more variety in, in my knives and things because most knife manufacturers put it in black because it's a, it's sort of a safe color safe bet. I love how flush the sort of back spring is there to the to the handle scale. It's a full back spacer through but it's quite easy to wash and maintain. You've got the three torque screws there on the handle and I must mention this lovely lovely sort of paper clip pop, pocket clip. I think it's one of the most non-intrusive clips. The retention is very good too. If you're walking about in the UK with this hanging out your pocket People think it's part of your phone, people think it's a paper clip, people think it's a pen. It sort of looks like a pen clip that you get on the large sort of fountain pens. So it won't draw any attention and it's one of my most favourite pocket clip styles. And I'll just show you a little bit of a size comparison. There's the Pingo and there's the UK PK. So as you can see it's just a little bit longer in blade length as the UK PK. 
and that gives you a bit more length and also you can fit the your pinky on there this time too. So in summary, it's a light UK legal non-locking knife with superior blade steel. If you want to have something with a bit more length, go for the, the newer UK PK that has this blade steel. I think it's a great little knife. Yeah, it's, it's quite pricey. Moving on from this, unless you want to go down the S30 V route and the, the, the real super steels uh, above that, it's a great people friendly knife and it's a worthy addition to the collection. Do you have a Spyderco squeak? What do you think of it? How useful? Put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for knife videos, put them in the comments below. If you want to see one of my knives that I have um, refreshed in this sort of format sooner than what I've got it scheduled for, please put it down in the list below. Anyway, thanks ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Take care.